Hi, I'm Art Eckstein, Professor of History and Distinguished University Professor Emeritus at the University of Maryland. This is the third course on films that I've given for Ollie here at Cal. My PhD is from Cal, and I was here in the 60s and 70s. Our new course is entitled Pictures at a Revolution, Six Films from and About the 60s. In this course, we'll be witnesses to a film revolution. The revolution had two parts. First, the subject matter of Hollywood movies changed with the rise of films that focused on youthful resistance and rebellion. Second, there was a revolution in the style of filmmaking, a looser, less formal way of photographing the story and thus creating a narrative. This change was aided by technolo technical developments such as lighter weight handheld cameras. The intersection of these developments meant that Hollywood played a very significant role in the popularizing of images and ideas belonging to the cultural revolution of the late 60s. We'll be viewing and discussing six films that did this. But you know, with the studios, it was always a matter of money and profit. When small personal counterculture films made many, many times the small initial investment the studios went in that direction, even if the old men who were in charge of the studios didn't understand youth culture. But profit was always the controlling motive, and this explains why by the late 70s, Hollywood was returning to the production of middle-brow blockbusters. The unheard of scale of the profits derived from Steven Spielberg's Jaws in 1975 and George Lucas's Star Wars in 1977 were turning points in a way from the small personal film. But the films in this course represent a more adventurous period. As in previous courses I've done for Ollie, my emphasis is on film as shared fantasy and as shared social mythology. That is, we will be seeing and discussing films that overtly articulate ideas that communities only felt, films that emanated from and then returned to shape the nation's dream life. It was difficult to decide which films from the 60s to show. There are so many interesting ones. But here are the six I've chosen. We'll begin in 1964 as a sort of prologue with the Beatles' breakthrough frenetic fake documentary, A Hard Day's Night. The huge success of the Beatles, first with records and then in movies, signaled the arrival of the baby boom generation as an economic powerhouse. The box office success of our second film, Bonnie and Clyde, with a 1930s rural bank robber couple depicted as exemplars of youth rebellion, had a similar impact in 1967. The next film, Monterey Pop, is the first ever rock concert documentary. And it documents the full flowering of the Bay Area hippie counterculture. The music performances are astounding. But then comes Easy Rider, made in 1968, a darker film from a darker year with a darker view of the fate of counterculture people. Next, we'll see Berkeley in the 60s, it depicts the stunning advance of new left politics in our own town between 1960 and 1969. I should add that the new left was very different from the counterculture in its political aims, which were so serious, though after a while, most new left people adopted a counterculture style. Finally, we'll see Coming Home, which is a reevaluation now looking back 10 years later from 1978 of the cultural and personal impact of the Vietnam War. Pictures at a Revolution is a Zoom course. The films we'll see are all available on cable or online for free or a small rental fee. Folks taking the course should see that week's film in the days before the session devoted to the film. For instance, people should see our first film, The Beatles, A Hard Day's Night, which is scheduled for April 1st, in the week before April 1st. In each session, I'll lecture for 40 minutes or so on the films 
uh, social and political background, and often enough on the filmmaker's struggle to get it made in the first place. Filmmaking is a difficult business. Then after a five minute break, uh, we'll have 45 minutes of discussion. People will be invited and encouraged to ask questions and to make comments about the film for the week and or my lecture, and I'll respond and we'll create a conversation among ourselves. Now, the six films I've chosen were all exceptionally well-made and all of them are entertaining, even if some of them are disturbing. Watching them and discussing them should be illuminating and fun, or fun and illuminating. Hope to see you there. Thanks.